Hi everyone, I'm back again with some fabric, a fabric haul, small fabric haul. Okay, like I said, with the sewing and um, choosing really cheap fabric, um, this is Walmart. And Walmart, when you go in, when you go into Walmart's fabric department, compared to Hobby Lobby, I mean Hobby Lobby, we we keep it really meticulous and clean. Um, Walmart's a bit of a mess when you go, but I think it's more just a lack of, there's just only usually one person work, working that fabric department, and it's a mess. But sometimes it's worth it because you can get some pretty neat, neat material and stuff if you have the time to look through it. I got this. And it has like different shades of like, kind of like a soft blue and white and I don't know what language this is but it's it's really pretty um, it's almost like a poly like a poly satin um, but with my little machine I am able to sew it with no problem I have had some trouble with some other knitted material I think it was kind of like a travel knit like a almost like a gym shorts material having trouble sewing that for some reason with my machine I switched to ballpoint all kinds of stuff. I'm not, it's just, it's, it'll sew it, but it skips. So I've set that project aside. Anyways, with this material, this was only a dollar. And it is really pretty. I thought this would make a really nice infinity skirt. Oh, it's infinity skirt. My goodness. Infinity scarf. If you've seen those, there's a lot of tutorials and stuff on um, Pinterest and on YouTube. And uh, I've seen a lady come in to work. I love getting ideas from people. Usually, most always, when you come into Hobby Lobby, I'm cutting your fabric, I ask, so what are you making? And um, I get good ideas. <laughs> this one lady came in and she had this scarf. Well, I decided to make one out of, out of that material for a dollar. So I made an infinity scarf. And you just kind of put it on and drape it around a second time and just kind of, it's not like the, um, probably not the best material for an infinity scarf. I don't know what I was thinking, but I don't know. It kind of works. I'll wear it. I'll wear it a couple times and probably dump it at the store, but at least it taught me how to make an infinity scarf. So I'm going to get some different material and make some more. My hair's a mess. Um, and I also got these. I was going to line some um, more stockings. I was going to do burlap stockings and then line them line them with some um, different color fabrics. I got all of these at um, Walmart and they were fairly cheap. I didn't want to get anything really expensive. I got this one. It kind of reminds me of like a muslin but it's a little bit heavier. And these fabrics right here were about $2.50 a yard and I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I may, I may make a um, a rag quilt with these because I like the colors together. They do look pretty good. This one's really pretty. I, these would make a really nice stocking, but I've, I've got so many stockings I've already made that I don't know if I want to make any more. I have a lot, a lot. Okay, and there's that one. So I may make a a quilt with that, a rag quilt, and I have not made a quilt before, so that'll be um, a bit first time for me. Okay, I have been making pillowcases. These are a lot of fun. I'll probably do a tutorial on this, but I need to get um, the rotary cutter and the board because I'm having a hard time. Um, this is really, really nice. It has the, the hidden seams, so when you turn it over, it's nice and clean and finished. I didn't do a French seam on this because this is my first one that I did, so it just has a simple seam. Other side. It has just a, a simple seam that you can see here. Now, um, on the other one that I did, I did do a French seam, but I didn't pull it over enough. So right here on the seam line, you can see that um, the uh, ends kind of sticking out a little bit, so I'm, I need to perfect how I do that to get that down a little bit more pat. But these are really fun. These 
these pillowcases. And what I'd like to do is eventually add these to my shop once I get really good. Uh, this one I made for a friend, and hopefully she's not watching this video or she's going to see her present. But I got this. This is a uh, queen size pillowcase, and I make also the uh, regular standard size pillowcases. Um, so that's it as far as my YouTube. Oh, this is this fabric, just in case if you wanted to know. This fabric is from Hobby Lobby. I love that with the cookies, the Christmas cookies, and then the little border that I have. That's from, ah, that's not from, uh, that is not from Walmart. That is from Hobby Lobby. All right, bye guys.